The Nintendo DSi came out in late 2008 and featured an online store of its own similar to the Wii Shop channel, but it didn't have a virtual console. I always found that odd, they got rid of the Game Boy Advance compatibility with this model of the DS, so I thought this would have been a perfect time to force us to buy those games digitally alongside Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Well, we ended up having to wait until 2011 to do that. The Nintendo 3DS came out in March, and later in June, the Nintendo eShop launched, finally bringing Virtual Console to a handheld. Game Boy and Game Boy Color games finally were re-released, and they were so much fun, mainly because the 3DS had no games at this point, so I was happy to play Super Mario Land and Link's Awakening. The games were blown up a bit and looked a tad blurry for my liking, and you could hold select as the game was starting up to minimize the image and it looked much crisper, and you also got this fun Game Boy border. You can even use the 3D slider to sync the screen in to make it feel more realistic. It's a really nice touch. Plus, if you hold L, R, and hit Y, you can swap between black and white or the original ass green of the first Game Boy model. There's a much more responsible save feature now, but you still can't map the buttons as you please. Because of the fact Game Boy games use B and A, you have to claw your thumb around the system to play something like a Mario game comfortably. Sega Game Gear games were eventually added in March of 2012. Oh, yay! I never saw anybody even remotely care about this edition. I like that Game Gear games were here, but nobody ever talked about them. NES games were added in February of 2012, starting with the original Super Mario Bros., and I will admit this here, the 3DS Virtual Console release of Super Mario Bros. was the way I first beat the game. Thankfully, with the NES games, you could use X as another button for B, which made games way more enjoyable. What's weird is that hitting X on Game Boy games brought up the Virtual Console menu with NES, that's not the case. Finally, SNES games came to the 3DS. Wait, I'm sorry. New 3DS models only, starting in March of 2016. Apparently, the CPU of the original 3DS just couldn't handle SNES games. That's embarrassing. I don't know, this was something where I feel like if they tried a bit harder, they could probably get SNES games running on the original 3DS models, but they just kind of gave up and went for new 3DS only. My main problem with the SNES games on 3DS, though, was when they came out. 2016, man, I kinda lost interest in 3DS Virtual Console at this point, and I haven't downloaded any SNES games through the system up until now. So first impressions are pretty eh. The games don't look too hot, but when you go into the settings and turn on pixel perfect mode, oh my god, the games look so good! They look excellent on the 3DS's screen because they're not trying to blow up the game or anything, they're displaying it in the original resolution, and it looks beautiful on a 3DS display. Now this is a fair lineup for 3DS Virtual Console, but one system's oddly missing. Well, because the 3DS was just not meeting sales expectations back in July of 2011, the price was slashed from 250 bones to a measly 170. To show their appreciation towards the people who bought the 3DS instead of paying off their mortgage, they offered early adopters 20 free virtual console games, 10 NES, 10 Game Boy Advance. These were given out to ambassadors for free before anybody else could buy them. Now, the NES games, those were all made available on the eShop eventually. The Game Boy Advance games were only ever available to the early adopters, or as Nintendo called them, ambassadors. I unfortunately picked the 3DS up right when the price dropped, so I never got these games. The one thing I never understood though was many people would ask Nintendo why GBA games weren't available on the 3DS Virtual Console, and they'd always say, oh, it's hard to make GBA work properly on the 3DS. But you already put GBA games on the 3DS, what are you talking about? I mainly got behind the original Game Boy titles for the 3DS, I hate those things up. Around four bucks a piece, three bucks for the simpler games. I already replayed a lot of the NES games on the Wii, so I didn't really buy a ton of them on 3DS. Game Boy was just way more interesting to revisit, because in many cases, this was the first time these games were ever re-released. Mega Man and Dr. Wily's Revenge, the Mario Land games, especially Mario Land 2. Donkey Kong 94, Link's Awakening, the original Game Boy Tetris released, which was awesome, and it was later delisted, but hey, I got it. The Game Boy Pokemon games finally re-released in 2016, and they got around to doing the Game Boy Color games by 2017. And then Pokemon Crystal in 2018, just think about that, a Game Boy Color Virtual Console game came out in 2018. Even though I didn't buy a ton of NES stuff on the 3DS, they did bring over a few Japanese exclusive games for the first time, at reasonable prices. The mysterious Murasame Castle and Summer Carnival 92 Rekka finally made it outside of Japan. Only on the 3DS, not Wii or Wii U, just 3DS, okay. 